Hey guys, what's up? So before I get to the main point of the video, I would like to answer most of the frequently asked questions. So the main and probably the only reason why I didn't upload so much lately is that I've been literally busy living my life to the fullest. No guys, I didn't quit training and neither am planning to do so in the future. I mean, do I really have to answer this? So in the last episode which I uploaded like a month ago, I've talked about the sale of my old dragon lore for a scorching team captain. And in this trade I made like 1000 keys of clear profit. And, uh, and also it's my highest tier item I have ever owned. But yeah guys, in the first trade of this episode I've sold my M9 Burned Ruby for an Op Dragon Lore and this beautiful Huntsman Knife Fate. So I've made some good profit by doing this trade already. However, look what I've done next. I have somehow managed to sell my Op Dragon Lore I just got for another M9 Ruby. So technically speaking, I got myself a Huntsman Knife Fate for free in a matter of hours. Also, there are some really good news I would like to announce to you guys. In the next trade I will show you in a second, I've sold all my CSGO items I owned for TF2 Unusual Overpay. Now, what does this mean? Well, basically, I will keep on trading in TF2, not CSGO anymore, uh, from now on. Okay, but uh, let's actually see what I've traded for. So, I sold my Huntsman Knife Fate and my M9 Bayonet Ruby for all these amazing unusuals. So Burning Hazmat, which is like 1000 keys, Magnetic Universal Translator, which is like 40 keys, uh, the Subatomic Spaceman, which is like 220 keys, and the last of all, Circling Heart or Geezer. Now just watch the possibilities yourself. Aren't all these combos so amazing? Anyways, in the next raid I've sold my Magnetic Universal Translator, which uh, by the way is an all class hat. When I think about it now, I was really, really lucky in this trade. So this guy offered me a full pro kill streak, Australian sniper set, um, plus around 10 keys in sweets. So I would probably round this offer at 55 keys in total, which is not bad whatsoever, considering uh, there were people who were asking like 40 keys for the unusual. In the last raid I decided to upgrade all my low tier items I couldn't sell for one bigger, uh, better item. So after some time I found this guy and he was really interested in buying some of my hats. And luckily at end we found an agreement. I have paid him my Dark Blaze Gibbles, my Subatomic Spaceman and my Circling Heart Old Jeezer. Now, I also added my Pro Kill Streak Australian Sniper Rifle and I also added my Pro KS uh, Australian SMG and about 10 keys in Swedes. However, I've also promised to him that I will give him a 30 key unusual as soon as possible. Obviously because I don't have anything else besides my free tier items right now and uh, I've literally spent everything on this raid. All I have at the moment is basically Scorching Team Captain, Burning Hazmat and uh, from this raid a pair of Vintage Urbats. Now, I will see what I can do in the next episodes, please don't be impatient, I'm trying my best to bring you guys this series as often as possible, however I don't uh, simply get as many trades as I wish to, it's not like I don't get many offers, uh, no, I do actually, however most of them are low balls. And uh, by the way, right now I am 267th uh, richest person in the world of TF2. And I will probably compare my inventory at the end of every episode from now on, I will see how it goes just so I can keep myself motivated uh, to keep on trading. Anyway guys, uh, thanks for all the support, thanks for watching and as always guys, see you until the next one.